jazz. The only true American art form. And no jazz musician contributed more to this most American of art forms than Cal Jellymouth Williams. Jellymouth was one of the first mainstream black performers. White America, black America, everyone loved Jellymouth. Yet he still encountered racial inequality everywhere he went. On August 22nd, 1929, he was performing at the Hotel Dorchester in New York when he was refused service at the hotel's whites-only bar. This is a pivotal moment in his career. Uh, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd like to play you a little something. Something I wrote last night called uh, Separate But Equal. Thank you, thank you. Suck my dick, guys. Suck my dick, all right? You a motherfucker and you a motherfucker. Won't let me drink in your bar, huh? Well, here's some Jim Crow for that ass. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. I'm gonna go have sex with like five white women tonight, all right? You guys have fun. Have fun. Good night, all right? Suck my dick, all right? Have fun, all right? You pay for the ticket, you pay for the ticket. Jelly Mount's artistic achievement with that song was unparalleled. He was breaking new ground with every note, and there was a subtle racial message, but it didn't hit you over the head with it. Unfortunately, he was still a black man in America in the 30s, and uh, he was arrested just standing on a stoop with his friend one evening for doing nothing. A week later, Kyle focused this latest injustice into a further exploration of Jack's. Thank you guys for coming out. I um, wanted to play a song for you about uh, what you probably already know, which is that I was arrested last week. Uh, the song is called Sobered with Sadness. Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, suck my dick, guys! Hey, arrest a motherfucker for doing nothing? That's fine, that's fine. You know what? I ain't gonna be shucking and jiving for you guys in no fucking movies no more. At this point, he's just creatively in the stratosphere. I mean, nobody has heard sounds like this before in jazz. No, boo, boo, please, oh, oh, thank you. Go have me tap dancing and shit with little white girls in movies? Well, you know what? None of that anymore. Oh, your hatred feeds me. Your hatred's like a summer breeze across my black brow. Wipe my dick off the... Trumpet. Listeners just weren't ready. They had nothing to compare it to. But he said, you know what? To hell with record sales. I'm just going to explore my art on my terms. Oh, this ain't no clarinet in this motherfucker. You just said this and this. Fuck you. That's for you, Grandma. Oh, she's not allowed in here. That's right. I forgot. Crazy me. Suck it. Now you get to hear another jazz song that starts with a low vibrato. Oh, I just orgasmed on stage from your white hatred. Is this what you want? You guys make me sick! All of you! You guys took my wife! Unfortunately, like so many black musicians throughout history, the sound that Jellymouth pioneered was co-opted by white musicians. The most famous of Jellymouth's imitators is, of course, Teddy Cheesesteak Appleton. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck my dick, everybody! Suck my dick! Arrest a motherfucker for something he didn't do. <laughs> you paid for this ticket! <laughs> Alright, suck my dick, guys. Good night. <laughs> Hiya, Frank. I mean, even beyond his white imitators, Jelly Mouth's influence cannot be overstated. I mean, he was... he was so ahead of his time. I mean, if you recorded those records today, and you released them today, there would still be a guy farting. But... <laughs> 